Updates from the U.S. The New York Attorney General has initiated action for seizure of former U.S. President Donald Trump's assets. Leticia James has filed judgments in the Westchester County as part of the leader's civil fraud trial. The Attorney General Leticia James is eyeing a possible takeover of the Republicans' golf course and private estate Seven Springs. Trump's assets are under the scanner after his failure to acquire the $454 million bond demanded to cover the civil fraud judgment. The former president has until Monday to secure the required financial guarantee. Earlier this week, the former president's lawyers notified that he is facing, and I'm going to quote here, insurmountable difficulties in securing a bond. As per reports, over 30 surety companies have turned the Republican frontrunner down. The judgment has entered in New York City, put, putting multiple properties of the leader at risk. Some of these include Trump Tower, a penthouse at the Trump Tower, a hotel in Central Park and numerous apartment buildings. Trump's attorney, Clifford Robert, has pushed back on the court's suggestion over Trump handing over his assets. Robert said that the decision was impractical, unconstitutional and unjust. However, the process of seizure will not be an easy one. On paper, Donald Trump is not the owner of a lot of these properties. On, now this means that an order against him will not be executable on such assets. As of now, the Attorney General is looking to, to seize his bank accounts and physical assets through foreclosures.